I am going to be demonstrating how to get to the IPVO Visualizer software and then also how to use that once you're there. So <clears throat> first things first, you don't have to have an IPVO document camera. This will work with most of them. Um, I've, the hardest time I've had is with actually with the smart document camera, but any document camera will do. Um, you can even use your webcam if you don't have a document camera at all. But me being the art teacher, I do a lot of demonstrations. And so I like to use my document camera so students can actually see what my hands are doing because that's a big part of what I teach. And IPVO is pretty cool because all you have to do is plug in a USB. So <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing right now is teaching you how to get the software download it, and then how easy it is to take pictures or record with it. So the first thing that you want to do is Google IPVO, I-P-E-V-O Visualizer, V-I-S-U-A-L-I-Z-E-R. And then you want to go to Software, and you want to click on this green icon here to download it. And once you do that, it is a free download. You pick the platform that you want to download it onto, and it's going to have this kind of icon here. Now, you can attach it to your taskbar, or you can have it in your um, menu list over here with the window. So whichever that is, you're going to open that up, and it's going to give you this window. Now, I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. Right now, my document camera is picking up what is underneath my document camera. I can simply change that. However, when I say select camera, I can use the UVC camera, which is my face. It's supposed to be my face, but I guess it's being used on my, uh, let's see if I get rid of that, if that will let it do it. UVC camera one, I don't know. This is, see, it's always good to try this and then hope that it works. There we go. Uh, my, doc, my, my webcam was in use with the other software before. So you can video yourself using the IPVO Visualizer if you wanna have um, a lecture type discussion with your students, or you can easily switch it back to the Ziggy HD Plus. Now, right now I'm still using Screencastify to record all of this, but you don't have to do that <clears throat> with IPVO Visualizer. Right down here, you've got this little button right here and an arrow above it. You want to select the arrow above it and it brings up this whole sequence of things that you can pick from. This is pictures. This is to record. This is slow motion. This is a time lapse. And it tells you what all these different things are. So uh, you know, text to speech, all these different things. So it's a very handy thing. Now I have set mine in my settings up here, this little wheel in the top corner. Anytime you see a wheel, that means settings. My file saving location, you can set it to either always ask or set a, a file for it to save in. Um, depending on what you're doing, you might wanna save everything to one place. That's where you always know where it is. <clears throat> you can set it up however you want to with the file format. You may, I'm going to have mine always ask me what I want it to be saved as. And all these other things up here, you can uh, set how you want them to be. So that way, when you click on record, it's going to give you a countdown. And, well, usually it gives you a countdown. <clears throat> and it's not supposed to be asking me. Save it into doomsday. Don't read into that too much. Oh, I guess I have to title it first. Um, once it starts recording, you'll see, I usually give it about three seconds. There is a little bit of a lag sometimes, so you wanna make sure it's actually recording and record as long as you like. Um, it, it doesn't care how long you record, particularly it's saving it to wherever you've told it to save it to. And then when you're done, <clears throat> you're gonna press stop and that's it. So then to find my recording, I'm going to go out of all these windows and look 
wherever it was saved, wherever it was supposed to be saved. It's supposed to be saved in Doomsday, but it didn't go there. Anyway, so those are the ones that I've made. So once I figure out where I've saved it, then it's easy to upload it. Um, no, I don't think that's it. <laughs> this is perfect. Um, I, I could probably re-record this. However, I'm not going to because I think it's important to show that even people who are pretty tech savvy can screw up what they're doing. So <clears throat> that being said, I will uh, film myself laughing at myself because I think it's funny. And uh, I wish you luck. If you have questions about how to video yourself or how to use any of this software, it's just confusing to you and you need somebody to kind of walk you through it. I am happy to help. I am on Facebook and Facebook has an awesome video calling feature. If you're more of a, I need face to face someone to hold my hand while I do stuff. I'm happy to help you with that. Um, you can send me a friend request. Um, however, do email me and tell me you're going to do that. Cause if I don't know you, I won't accept your friend requests. I'm kind of a jerk like that. So Jill Gamble, but not the one in Allegheny. Um, if you have other questions or stuff that you want to share or you think is helpful, I would be happy to learn more. Obviously, there are lots more things that I can learn. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Give me some feedback.